Hello, <laughs> welcome back to another week. I don't know what I think about this hair either, <laughs> if that's what you're thinking. I never ever pull my bangs out of my face like this. This is very old school. I feel like I look like Kim Cattrall. <laughs> Fabulous, uh, but hi and welcome to a new week. This week's theme, I, I kind of want to like start doing themes from time to time because for me that is so exciting to theme everything around like a subject. And I've considered doing this before. I was gonna do like an 80s video. I was gonna do like a this, that, and the other. And everything's like kind of themed around that. I was thinking of making this a Western themed video. I want to make a really cool from scratch patterned outfit. Well, sh thing. I'll tell you when I get to it, but I want to do that out of something I thrifted. So it is still a thrifted kind of upcycle, but I'll, I'll explain more here in a minute. But I want to make that this week. That is kind of like my project that I would like to accomplish. Every week I like to have a project that I've accomplished in some way. And this is definitely one of the ones I've had on my list for a while. And it's kind of Western-esque. And then what else? And then just like, I want to piece together a really cool Western looking outfit and maybe go thrifting for some pants or something that will match this thing I want to make so that I have a reveal of an outfit wearing um, this new outfit that I've pieced together throughout the week with you. Look at the boots. Look at the cowboy boots and the little hat. Oh my gosh, I love this. Please order. <laughs> Yay, we're gonna make some Western cookies. I love it. See, see how my brain works? Once I get a theme, then it gets so exciting. Everything becomes so exciting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna work on that this week and let me show you the project and just shut up. We are back at the sewing cabinet for the next project. I always keep my eyes peeled for amazing vintage patterns because I notice patterns are harder and harder to find at thrift stores these days. They used to be abundant, like books, but now they're few and far between. But I saw this little bin on the floor of some patterns and in it was this. Now look at this western one up here. Vests are definitely in and a lot of women I'm seeing wearing vests with nothing underneath. It's just the vest. I really like that look. I love the fringe one down here. A couple of fringe ones. I don't know that I have suede to do that but oh and this one up here. This jean one. So good. And then the one that she has on is like a really long length. So there's a few different uh, patterns to choose from. I like them all, so it's gonna be really hard to pick. My eyes go towards this cropped, these cropped ones here that are a little bit smaller. And here is the fabric. Ah, avalanche. Here's the fabric I was thinking I can make the vest with. Look at this. This is a tablecloth and it's so beautiful. It has these really cool flowers on it and I thought that would look cool on the back of the pattern, on the back of the vest. So I want to make a vest with this. I have like upholstery dangles. You know, it's so easy to forget what you have, but I love this fabric. So that's the project I would like to get into this week. I don't love that you're sitting up there Seems a little dangerous, Marv. Do we have to sit up there, Marv? At least there's a blanket basket <laughs> below him. Here's today's outfit. I went for cozy chic. I'm feeling very um, mature, Sienna. Uh, honestly, it's just my cozy favorite pants. I got those from that cider website. And then this is like the softest button up I got thrifting, but it is so light and soft. I love looking in the men's clothing section for button ups like this because it's so comfortable. It's like wearing PJs essentially, but looking a little bit more grown up. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna make. It sounds so good, oh my gosh. So prep time and all that. Let's see, it needs how long in the slow cooker? For three and a half hours. So I still have prep time too, so four hours. Cause everything takes longer for me than what HelloFresh says it's gonna take. <laughs> so four hours and I want it to be ready by six. So I need to start it in 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, okay. It came in this gigantic bag. So 
many vegetables. Look at the size of these carrots. Good God. HelloFresh has delivered. Watch little Tina come running. <laughs> she knows the sound of carrots on a chopping block. Little pieces for little babies. Angel, angel. Oh, sorry, Teeny. This sauce smells so good. It's vinegar and Worcestershire and soy sauce and stock concentrate, garlic powder, thyme, paprika, all sorts of delicious stuff. And now we're heating it up and letting the butter slowly melt. So I'm gonna put it back in the microwave and let this continue to melt. The smell of this sauce and all the vegetables already alone, my house is going to smell so good all day long. <laughs> I need to put my lipstick back on. gonna get to hear this album I found the chord for my record player and I couldn't hear it until I found that chord so let's put this on the record player and see what dancing with Dolly I want to fall in love sounds like it's ready oh my goodness all day long this thing has been cooking. Finally get to taste the fruits of our labor. On a scale of one to hungry, how hungry are you? You want a big bowl? Okay. Definitely have plenty. Oh my God, it's so much food. Dinner is served. <sighs> wow. With a little bit of everything, you know? Some mashed potato, parsley, Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Good morning and welcome to Project Day. I feel so like Matilda <laughs> with this hair. How come the moment I put my hair to the side like this, I feel like 10 years older? <laughs> In case uh, anybody's wondering, I have buxom's dolly on the lips because i was thinking dolly parton dolly very western country vibes uh so yeah let's um get this project started i would need to do this before it gets hot up here because as soon as the weather starts to shift up here i will have to go downstairs it's gonna it's gonna be too much so let's get going most of you might have already figured out, I really like to project on the floor. I uh, just like to be able to like, spread everything out and have all this room in space and something about being on the floor and crafting is just a very nostalgic <laughs> habit of mine. I like the idea, this is really cute. Look at that one, <gasps> the jean. Oh, wouldn't that be so cute? I mean, you could take a jean jacket cut the sleeves off and add fringe and make your own. Also, I'm listening to a really good true crime story right now, Southern Fried True Crime. I was, while I was doing my makeup, Erica Kelly, love her voice. This episode is called The Murder of Rhonda Oakley. It's episode 220. And if anybody is just wanting to hear a crazy story, uh, go listen to it because I've been I've been glued to the story while I did my makeup. Decided to go with J, which is this one down here. And it says for J, I want pieces one and three. Now one and three are luckily on here because that's the thing about getting thrifted patterns is you don't know that every piece is going to be in the actual packet. But I lucked out because the easy one, <laughs> J, both, pat both pieces that I need are on this pattern. So now I'm just gonna read ahead my instructions just to make sure I've got this all kind of down in my head. I don't wanna cut into the pattern. I wanna make a um, mock-up of it so that I have a guide. 
Okay, since I don't want to ruin this, I want to be able to keep it nicely folded away. I'm not going to cut this out. It would be easier to do that, but I'm just going to try to go along with a fabric pen on my felt strip here so that I can make a, ba a backup pattern for future use. That way this pattern can stay nice and intact, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I have one and three cut out, which is what it says Jay needs for this project. I did label one and three back. I need to put front on here. Okay, so the instructions say right here, center back place onto fold. So when I cut this, I'm gonna have this folded over onto the back. So there's back. I want it to be in the center of the flower, which is about right there. I'll be tracing along this and then tracing along that. Does that make sense? So that will be the back of the vest. Oh my God, I'm getting so excited about this. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, you thought I was talking to you, little tiny. Oh, <laughs> I love it when you stretch. It's the cutest thing. Oh, I love it so much, I do, I love it. Okay, you're not, I, I, as much as you're helping <laughs> with your cuteness. Mama needs to get right there. You're gonna let Mama get right there. Oh, okay, Marv. No! <laughs> no, Bean. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. My little angel. My little angel. Look at my little two-headed dragon. Look at my little two-headed dragon. Okay, look out, guys. Come on, move your butt. Marvin? <laughs> now I want the flowers to be on the front of the vest as well because they're just so cool. So I'm lining this up to where I should be able to have a flower on both sides of the front of the vest and still have plenty of fabric to do another project with. All right, this is just kind of a mock-up of what the vest will look like inside out. And it says to stitch the front to the back at the shoulders and at the sides. So here and here is what it wants me to do. And that's not the back. This is this to this. So I need to do the front here and just at the sides here those two not the uh any not anywhere on the sleeves at the moment All right, I have everything pinned. And it's interesting how it makes you do the corners. You turn the fabric and kind of pinch it into itself and create that triangular edge and then just keep going with the pinning. You know, something I do when I, when I sew a lot of projects and just when I do projects in general is I just do things the same way I cook dinner, just on a whim without instructions unless it's the HelloFresh. I just kind of wing it this is actually really nice because it's teaching me how to do it instructionally and I'm actually understanding what the instructions are trying to say. So I'm, I'm enjoying having some direction. I, I actually really like that. That's giving me some hope in future sewing projects where I can actually make things from all of the thrifted fabric I found because I have found so many sheets and tablecloths and different things that are old school looking patterns and I'm like, this would just make the coolest piece of clothing if only I knew how to properly do it. If I had just stayed <laughs> in fashion design school, but I did make it through a complete class at least, but I just really wish that I could have finished. Cause just imagine what I would know now. 
if I just finished fashion design school. <laughs> I wonder if there's still time. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna sew this on. I think doing it this way is fine too, you know, just learning as I go. Okay, the vest is on, but it clashes really, really bad with this dress. So just keep in mind that I need to go thrifting for something that I think that will look cute with it. So just keep that in mind. It's actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I think I did pretty good, especially with getting the florals, you know, centered in the right spot so that they, they look the same on both sides for symmetrical reasons, you know? Not good with this dress at all. And then here's the back. That's the part that I'm the most proud of. It's so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love the flower on the back of it. Oh god, it's starting to be excruciatingly hot up here. So I'm gonna have to go downstairs now. <laughs> I knew it would happen. It's just about the afternoon, so it's that time of day where it starts to bake. So I'm actually going to hit the thrift store to see if I can find anything that I can wear with this that's gonna look cool. All right, um, and then with patterns, just a little little tip here for something that I was thinking, because you definitely, like I really don't wanna cut into any of these patterns because I don't want the pieces to get lost and it all to stop making sense. So I would rather preserve the pattern. And if I was doing like a vintage pattern, which I think these are, 1993. <laughs> I still have a hard time calling the 90s vintage. To me, vintage is like, anything before the 70s. Ugh. Yeah, I think these old patterns, um, we, I don't want to hack them up. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep it in a bag like this. But that way when I have it in my sewing area, it's not all disheveled and pieces missing and then I don't remember what goes with what. All right, so let's go um, thrifting and then I'm going to uh, hit the grocery store. Ugh. Tell you what, it is so nice to come downstairs after being upstairs and having these air conditionings going. They're not even on full blast, but we are supposed to be getting a heat wave. I am so appreciative of my husband's projects because we are getting all new lighting, but I am so looking forward to the day that it's done because my house is just constantly covered in electrical tools and I mean, he does a really good job of tying it up and pushing it all to the side. It's just little messes everywhere all the time that I'll clean up and then within an hour it's destroyed again. <laughs> so I just don't even bother now. Okay, we are at the Goodwill and we're gonna go find something that I think will look nice with the vest. I just wanted to wear it so that way I can hold stuff up to it. You know, and this is the exact thrift store where I found the pattern to make this. So now I'm thinking, find more patterns. <laughs> so if I happen to run across a pattern or two and maybe some more fabric, you know, we'll have another project to make. I think I'm, I think I'm hooked. I think I'm hooked on sewing my own clothes. <gasps> Okay, I am back from the thrift store and I just wanted to show you what I got. So the idea was to get something that would look good with this. So I'm hoping that the pair of pants I got are oversized enough to look like baggy, kind of loose fit slacks. We'll see. So what I ended up grabbing was these. These are Ann Taylor. I was really ambitious going with the big pant size because I want them to be super baggy. This is a risk, but it had a tie. So I'm thinking the tie might help keep them on and if I need to alter them a little bit, I can. And then while I was there, there were two patterns that I saw that I thought I could try. This one is just a very simple dress, but the pleating at the top is something I wanna learn. And so maybe if I can make that, see that yellow one? If I can make a dress, with that type of pleating, that could be good. That would be a good thing for me to learn. Not as concerned about making the pants. And then this I got really excited about because this is very easy. <laughs> and it's a skirt, a good old fashioned skirt. That's something that I could always 
play around with the length width and make it my own. And it has belt loops, little belt loops. And it says easy. It better be easy. <laughs> I Both of those were 99 cents, but then everything that was pink was half off. So I literally got the skirt one for 50 cents. What a steal. And then just because this was over by the sewing area, look at how many spools of ribbon came in here of every color, spools of every color. And for some reason, ribbon is so freaking expensive. These are brand new spools of ribbon. $1.75, $1.65, and I got all of them for $2.99. So that already is a good deal. And only just because I thought it was funny and random and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I wanted it and it was $1.99. And it says, do one thing every day that scares your family. It's so random, but I thought it was funny. I thought that was, she's like sumo wrestling. All right, so here's the outfit. These pants definitely are way too big on me. You should see when I let this string out <laughs> how much room I have. But I think that actually kind of adds to the paper bag, bag waist bagginess that works with this little vest that I made. I kind of love this outfit. That's pretty cute. And then I can even like, you know, snap this closed if I want. I don't know, I kind of, I like it open. I like it open, just like that. Super relaxed. You know, very cute. I did good. I just had to see if there's any other way to style this little vest that I made. And this I love, I absolutely love it. So it's really versatile. And let me just say, when I was at the grocery store, a gal pointed at me and went cute to my whole outfit. I was like, ah, <laughs> you have no idea how uh, Great, that makes me feel knowing that I've I've made part of it. So yay, it's so fun. Making stuff is so cool. It's getting hot up here. I don't know how long I will last, so let's make this quick. It is 4th of July. I am wearing blue and white. I was gonna do a red lip, but I honestly don't feel like babysitting it all day and wondering if it's halfway smeared across my face. So I went for nude <laughs> as usual. And I've just been really having fun with just different graphic wings and eye makeup looks. So I just kind of sat here and zoned out for a bit. I got really inspired by Natasha Denona. I'm always loving her content and her just putting makeup on herself and she's in her 50s and she makes it look so enjoyable. She makes putting on makeup look like fun again and I just got really inspired by that. So I just wanna make sure I'm not forgetting that my background is makeup and um, that I have fun looks for you guys when I turn the camera on. I think that will be good for me to just keep my skills up to par and have fun with it and try new things. So I'm gonna put this apron on so I can be red, white, and blue and protect my dress. I thrifted this dress ages ago. I can't remember where I got it or what, but I would never cut this dress. The fact that it's way too long on me is my favorite part. So long it drags, but I wanna make sure I protect it, so we're gonna put on an apron. I just ate a cookie. 
they're really good. The shortbread recipe that I used was like powdered sugar, butter, and flour. And that was pretty much it. And uh, probably the easiest cookie to make and not too sweet, which I like, but then the powdered sugar icing is giving it that pop of sweetness, if that's what you desire. But it definitely makes you wanna drink a big old cup of milk after you have it. Lots of butter in it too. <laughs> But it's this really pretty, like pinky brown color, and I love it. I actually really wish I had this in a lipstick and a lip gloss. It's really pretty, but yeah, so there's my little cowboy boot cookies. They're so cute. This one got a little wonky, um, but yeah. But they came out so good. Ding! Can you tell that I'm happy? I'm so stoked. I just went and picked up our groceries. We have chicken sausage, hot dogs, baked beans, potato salad, corn. I'm gonna try doing it on the grill. Um, yeah, in probably a couple of hours, but a job well done. So good. <laughs> I'll link the recipe that I used down below in case you wanna make them yourself. Yum, yum, extra yummy, delish. Happy fourth. We are in a place called Steelacombe and exploring a little town and it was a happy accident. <laughs> we just wanted somewhere to go for a walk. Steelacombe. Something, like that. something like that. Anyway, my glasses look funky. But yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's the cutest little town. I love that we accidentally came here. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have been good, huh? We'll know that for next time. Holy moly, Chambers Bay looks really cool from here. <laughs> These people got a great view. Good girl, teeny tiny. Robert Anderson Jr. Band's dad. Name of, I don't know why I said that like I'm from Michigan. Named in honor of Robert Anderson. Oh, that's the Narrows Bridge. Yeah. Wow. Can't see the mountain range with all this overgrowth, but it's out there. We walked over to the little wagon shop because we couldn't resist how cute it was. And we sat at the coffee shop and talked to the sweetest old lady about Stillicum is how she said to pronounce it. We gotta make sure we say it right. <laughs> it's so cute, this town is so cute. She even uh, gave us tips on the best swimming spots that people don't know about. But if anybody likes to visit little, small, adorable towns in the Pacific Northwest, put this on your list because it's just absolutely adorable. Very wholesome, wholesome little town. Oh, I love it, it's like somebody froze time. So we're actually gonna come to the little spot that that sweet old lady told us to check out. That's a really nice beach. We're just gonna come take a look. And then we're buying this house. This is our house we're building, yeah. It's still in the works, but you know, it's getting there. You know, stuff like this takes time. <laughs> wow. dip the teachy in. Get in there, teeny tiny. <laughs> I can't. So not to be morbid when we're trying to enjoy ourselves, but I had to know what that building was because I did, we didn't know where we were. Like, 
in conjunction with the islands because I know Anderson is that way which you can take a ferry to Anderson but this this huge building I was like what is that and we just googled it it is a prison for violent predators now I have to deep dive <laughs> now I'm tasked with deep diving on Google and there's no way onto the island but by boat what's this boat going out there for what do you got on that boat <gasps> I'm in tr oh you guys can't see I'm not that boat where's that going where's that going it's heading straight for it Ooh, the mystery we're actually sitting outside on a rock <laughs> and well, I'm on rocks he's on I gave him the ladies seat after you my lady <laughs> <laughs> and we're just enjoying ourselves and taking in the scenery of where we live because we truly do live somewhere that is so beautiful. What's that critter? Is that a sea lion? It's a duck. Oh, I'm like so blind. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this week though because I sewed something, I made cookies. So I'm gonna end this now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. The pups say goodbye as well. See you next week. Thank you.